Hey guys, saw somebody uh, stick, uh, hook up a uh, air turbine to a brushless motor and utilize it as a generator, and well, it did pretty damn good. Uh, well, let's test it out with a little lower RPMs. Uh, I don't quite have the same motor he had. This is a 1,000 kV, uh, 1,100 kV, uh, 35 by 30 millimeter, 14 turn. Gonna uh, run it on my drill. Just swap batteries. So. Uh, See what we can generate. I got it down on a uh, 200 voltage uh, AC current. So uh, yeah, I can't seem to find a lower setting that's gonna really give me a reading off of this thing. So I'll uh, give this a whirl. Huh? Gotta try to hold these wires so the motor don't spin. As you can see, it works to generate current. Let's turn on a little extra light here. Uh, Lloyd told me a while back that a brushless motor generated current, and uh, until I saw that video and stuff, I didn't really uh, see firsthand how it does it. But it's simply put, I mean, just get the uh, positive and negatives hooked up which I guess are why these motors have that marking, because you pretty much have to guess and switch them around when it comes to actually hooking them up to a speed control. Usually the colors are pointless, because uh, you want it to spin a certain direction. But uh, let's show you a little something neat, though, too. I'm going to switch the direction, something you can do pretty easily on a drill. The RPM's a little lower, so it's generating just a little less voltage. Switch it back again. So yeah, it's pretty cool actually. I'm thinking about make uh, getting a bigger brushless motor, then just making a little pedal generator that I could generate current for with with the heck of it, uh, for the heck of it. And uh, since I'm a cyclist, it gives me a little bit of indoor riding uh, as it is. So either way, take care, y'all. Bye.